I've just found out that I'm going to be displaced by Sarah Jane Center in the next couple of months. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Pale Risk Economics um, owner and proprietor uh, Ian Harrison. G'day, Ian. Welcome to the show. You were the man behind the exposing of the Wellington City Council's business case to slow everyone down to 30 kilometres across the city. Now, welcome, folks, to Hotline. This is Friday afternoon. We're at San Diablo with the hot people with the hot hats and in the hot seat is Tail Risk Economics um, owner and proprietor uh, Ian Harrison. Hey, Ian. Welcome to the show. It's been a hot hat. So, Ian, Taurus Economics, I understand you were the man behind the exposing of the Wellington City Council's business case to slow everyone down to 30 kilometres across the city. Is that correct? That's correct. So what, what was the flaw that tipped you off? Well, I've read quite a few council documents and there have been so many flaws I can't remember that one. <laughs> okay, well, you, you realise I'm an ex-city councillor and I don't like to bag the staff, so we won't go there. Tell me, though, I understand you're doing the same old master's course in climate change that I did, James Remick's master's in climate change science and policy. How's that going? Well, we're getting towards the end. Um, we're getting a little bit tired of it, you know, second-year right. student blues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I used to be a student, always have those blues. Um, how long have you been like um, interested in studying and whereabouts do you study? Um, well, I, I only did it for a few reasons. One, I got to walk up the hill three times a week. Oh, yeah. Fitness. I'm missing Bit Uni, that is. Uh, yeah. Um, I was, um, I wanted the brand because I write quite a bit on climate change anyway. Mm -hmm. And what else? Um, that. Oh, I, I thought they might teach me something I didn't already know. Nice. How have you found the um, the openness and willingness of your um, faculty staff members to engage in um, broad and alternative views around climate change? I don't push it too hard. There's nothing more insufferable than a mature <laughs> student putting up his hand all the time. Yeah, and, um, I got told so off. So I, um, I, I'm a bit cautious on it. Yeah, good on you. So um, you've done some work, I think, with Kapiti Coast District Council or the having a look at the sea level estimates that they're putting in some coastal planning. Well, talk us through what you sort of what have you found and what well i ran into it by accident right at the end of the process and um had a few documents i said i'll look at these and then found it was well how do you say copy and look um, <laughs> um so i i had a look at their documents and I wrote a report and then i shared the stage with you had a big um, meeting on the thing. Okay, we do know each other. <laughs> With all this coastal stuff, where's your favourite beach? Uh, Waikano. Oh, nice. Carpenter Coast up there, beautiful yeah, place. And where's your favourite restaurant as well? Oh, that's a tough one. Can't afford to go out and eat these days. <laughs> Not good for economists. Oh. <laughs> so, Ian, so you're going to finish your course this year, probably. What's, what's next for you? Um, well, a little bit of... Uh, I'm a part-time weeder of the garden. Just part-time. I'm full-time. Yes. Yeah, that's that's that one. Um, next, <laughs> uh, we're hoping to go to um, France and Spain to walk some of the Camino. Oh, lovely. Um, but I'll probably get um, enticed back to writing on some other subject. I've written widely on anything that's current. But I, oddly enough, love reading journal articles and pulling them apart. It sounds about as interesting as watching paint dry. Quick question. What do you think of the Wellington Cycle Lanes? Um, well designed topic uh, they don't achieve what they purported to achieve um, they're meant to be the solution to climate change um, even on the council's calculations they'll reduce emissions by 1.4% on mine 0.4% and the cost will be $8,555 a tonne that's a lot compared to you per buy. ton of carbon dioxide. Yeah, that's it. So you can buy a ton on the sixty bucks. Oh, sixty bucks. Yeah. So there you go. All right, hey Ian, we can talk about climate change you and I all day. 
uh, but we don't have all day. So thanks very much for coming on Hotline. Um, that's it, folks, for, for now. We've got some other guests coming up, so we'll see you soon. Thank you all. Yes.